recent weather reminds us that it's autumn in New England. School is back in session and the holiday season is approaching. As the change of season kicks in, a church in Dorchester is giving the city a big reason to come together. The Grace Church of All Nations in Dorchester is inviting the city to its annual Harvest Fest Day Festival for youth and families in Boston. It's a day where youth will enjoy pie eating and contest and apple bobbing and free barbecue will be available as well as gift bags too. The free event will be held in the parking lot at Grace Church of All Nations in its parking lot at 451 Washington Street near Codman Square. Harvest Fest will be held on October 31st from 11 o'clock in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. Our guest today is uh, Executive Pastor Michelle Campbell of the Church, uh, the Grace Church of All Nations. Welcome to Urban Update. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Mr. Well, uh, it sounds like it's going to be a, a fun event. Now, this isn't a religious event, but the church is sponsoring it. Uh, talk to me about the, the, the purpose, the thinking behind the Harvest Fest. Fest. Well, it's not a religious event, but we are hoping that as a result of us coming together and bringing the community together, that we can show our neighbors neighborly love. Uh, we hear a lot of stories in Dorchester about people not knowing one another, but we want to focus on the positives and about loving each other and sharing and getting to know our neighbors. And so this is a great opportunity for people to just be satisfied and be happy about coming together and giving them a positive reason to come on out and see what's going on. Now, what's the format of the harvest? What's going to be taking place? Well, like you mentioned in the beginning of the segment, there's going to be uh, contests, apple picking. Uh, we also do have a number of our sponsors that will have tables, the health centers, uh, Cobham Square Health Center, as well as um, uh, Bowdoin Street Health Center as well. We'll have tables there. And so we're just going to uh, just have a great time uh, just uh, bouncing around. We have uh, street dancers that are going to be dancing. It's just going to be an exciting time with music and food. Now, uh, this is the Dorchester Centered event, but you're inviting really all neighborhoods, aren't you? Everyone from Boston? Yeah, absolutely. It is it is Dorchester Centered. We want to focus on uh, our local community and the people who, are, who live around us. But we also think it's important for all other neighborhoods to come together and just to know that good things happen in Dorchester. See for yourself that Dorchester is a good place to be. Talk to me about, I guess, what uh, the, the children and families are getting about this and the whole aspect of a community uh, building um, and the purpose of that here. What we're hoping to give to children and family is an opportunity for them, again, to have a positive environment where they can come out, play, not be afraid uh, that anything's going to take place, but know that they're going to be around people that they can soon call friends, hopefully family, uh, because Boston is a neighborhood of families, and we want people to know that we can act like family and we can be like family and come on out and share with one another. So uh, kids who are underserved have an opportunity to come and eat and play and just be kids, uh, which is something that a lot of kids don't have the opportunity to do any longer, but this is an opportunity for them. You make a point of making sure everyone knows that this is a free event. Uh, why, uh, I guess, why is that important in, in your view? It's important not only for our church, but also for our sponsors, uh, uh, Citizens Bank, uh, Open Table. Uh, the Cobbins Square Community Health Center, Lefroy Bakery, uh, to know, uh, to let the people know uh, that we love them. And it's good to give back. It's not just about taking all the time or people perceiving uh, that, that, that other organizations are taking. But it's good to give back to your community because as you give, you receive. Now, I know this is this is not your first, this is your second uh, Harvest Fest. Yeah. Is it not? You had it last year? How did that go? Last year's Harvest Fest, uh, Harvest Fest was amazing. We had nearly 2,000 people. Not only are we expecting to have that and more, but we've invited our community leaders to come out, police departments to come out, um, different stores and and. and, and individuals from other neighborhoods to come and to share with us and just to kind of have an awesome time in Dorchester. Now you said the uh, Codman Square is going to be, uh, the health center yes. is going to be a uh a participant in this? They uh, are. Doing anything special at all? I think they're just having a table where they're just going to be sharing materials um, and other things that pertain to the community and health information for the community. And who are you trying to serve uh, really with uh, this whole event? Our goal is to serve everyone in Boston. However, we're focusing on our neighbors in Dorchester. We serve our, our local neighbors, but it's not just the people of Dorchester. I think love goes beyond just one location. We can serve anybody from Boston. And finally, let's just to remind our viewers uh, about the uh, details of the upcoming event, when's, where's, and 
to expect. So the event is taking place at Grace Church of All Nations, which is located at 451 Washington Street, uh, the corner of Washington and Park. Uh, and it's going to be taking place behind our church building. Uh, and it's from, that's October 31st, which is Halloween. And so we're inviting all the kids to come. Those were having a Bible contest, uh, uh, a Bible costume contest. So if you come in your Bible costumes, you might win a prize as well. Uh, so we're inviting people to come on out to that and uh, have a good time. It's from, 12, from uh, 11 o'clock to 4 p.m. Okay, it sounds like it's going to be a fabulous day. Uh, Executive Pastor Michelle Campbell from the Grace of All Nations Church. Thanks for coming in and uh, so glad have, to be a, here. have a great time on October 31st. Thank you, will do. Okay, well that's it for this edition of Urban Update. For everyone here, I'm Byron Barnett. Have a great Sunday, everyone.